Okay, so there's a few things we need to do to get started. Um, if you go to the front page of your website, so this is a blog post. This is the default menu. You don't have any other pages. Default sidebar. This goes home. Okay, so what we want to do is set up our own menu system, add a home page, change the permalinks, and remove this from the footer. Okay, so you go into your admin area. First thing we can do, settings, permalinks. So at the minute it's set to have your links like this, but to make it look better, and for SEO, we change it to post name. Okay, that's done. Next thing is to go to appearance, widgets. You can see SiteGround in here has added these, so you can drag them into inactive widgets and that automatically saves so if you go to the front end now you can see it's the footer's gone okay so now we need to create a home page so add page home. Uh, so click on use the Divi Builder and this is where we can load the page. So load from library. So here we have all the predefined layouts. So we're going to go with home page basic. And there you go, it's, it's loaded all this content for you. So we'll come in and edit this later, but for now, just publish. Okay, we go to the front end. It's still showing this blog post and the sidebar. Here's the home page you just created. But your front page is here. So you need to go into settings, go into the admin again, settings, reading. See at the minute. Your front page is displaying your latest posts. So change to a static page and set the front page as home. Save changes and go to the front end. So here you can see now the front page is your home page. Perfect. Okay. Next thing we want to do is go into appearance menus and we'll set up your menu. My menu. Create menu. Now we only have one, one page, which is the home page, so we'll add that to menu. And as we create more pages to get them to show up in the navigation we have to come back in here select the new page add to menu put it in here so in, the, in here you have to check primary menu save menu done so when you go back to the front end you can see here your home page is here with the content 
Okay, so in the next step we'll add a few more pages and change the content around.